Hello, I'm Vladimir. You are on the Beamer Dog channel. Today, I'll share you with you the information that no one, I'm saying again, no one is willing to share. Let's talk about my incomes. How much is possible to earn working with the BMWs or any other automotive brand? I thought that it could be very interesting for you to spend the whole weekend with me. I'll be recording all my works, BMW related works, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'll briefly tell everything about the car that comes in, what work has to be done. I'll record something in between there during the job. And in the end, the most important, I'll tell you how much did I charge the customer for the job. In the end of the video, of course, we'll calculate how much is possible to earn during only one weekend. Will that be 500, 600, 700, 1000 or even more? By the way, what do you think? Write in the comments. As I told you, I'll be recording all my works. I'll be working uh, most of the times offline. If during that weekend, whatever online action happens, uh, what do I mean by online action? Uh, as you already know, I have Beamer Dog bot who is activating the car place in um, automatic way, so I don't have to do anything over there. If uh, someone purchased the car play via the bot, it will also count as an online job. I will show you somewhere the notice, somewhere over here, and you will see this. It will also count as extra cash coming in. Also, if one of my coders perform any online job uh, for the client, I have recommended him, and the client sends the money in, I'll also show you uh, that income also. What do you think about making that video even more interesting? I know my subscribers, you are from all around the world. So if you have been doing the same thing I'll be doing in that video with your BMW or yourself have offered that uh, service to a customer, please write in the comments what price did you charge the customer or you have been charged for what job and what country you are living in. It would be very interesting to see uh, how prices might vary uh, around the world. Let's spend that very interesting weekend together and let's waste no more time. Let's start working with BMWs. Due to the fact that uh, during that weekend I'll be working not only in my garage but in several locations. Uh, for example, the closed by automotive shops, the guys I'm cooperating with. That's why I have to travel a bit uh, to collect all the tools needed. For example, at the moment I'm driving to the garage uh, to take the power supply because all the jobs that will require programming require power supply for 100%. Uh, that's why I just uh, have to spend some time to collect that. So let's open the garage and let's take my power supply. This is the G slash, the power supply. I highly recommend that one. It is very good. Let's grab that and let's do the job. I have arrived to my first location. That's actually the garage of the Hell car. And by the way, subscribe to his channel also. He's a very good guy. He makes a lot of videos how, uh, about how to work with BMWs yesterday in Russian. So if you do speak Russian, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, check out uh, that 6 series. This is the Cabrio. Uh, it is 650 gasoline, that's absolutely beast. I'm just waiting for the summer to come uh, to make some faster trips on that car. The first car for that weekend will be that E61. It has M57 engine, this is 3.5 uh, diesel engine. The problem with that car that it has, actually the engine has been swapped uh, in that automotive service I'm located at the moment. And the owner of that car, he had the chip tuning made, uh, chip tuning stage one on that car. And he's blaming that chip tuning that was made and uh, that's why the engine was failing uh, as the owner thinks. And he asked us to remove stage one chip tuning. Also on the current car, because it's not the new one, all, all the ecology parts, so the DPF, uh, swivel flaps and EGR, they're also removed. So my job will be to leave the ecology off and remove only the stage one chip tuning. But how it's possible to remove only part of the components? Actually, the sequence I'll be doing with that car, I will reflash the engine ECU uh, of the current car to the stock values. So it will have no stage one and all the ecology present. And after that, I have to remove all the ecological components. So the 
particle filter, the sphere flaps and the EGR. This is the only way how you can remove the chip tuning. So basically just flashing to the stock settings. For the current car, I will use the ICOM to flash it to the stock and the CAS programmer to make the chip tuning part. Actually not the chip tuning, but removing all the ecological components. And some process between the job. You can see I'm updating the software. Actually, I'm not updating. I'm writing exactly the same file uh, through the ICOM to our engine ECU to delete everything it had in it. Because if whatever stage one chip tuning was made there, if you're not sure about the quality of that, you have to remove that. And in order to remove, you have to just write it over with the stock files. I have received the modified file without stage one and on the ecology is off. And at the moment you can see it's being written to the car itself. The writing process takes way less time and that's why we should finish soon. Now, the most interesting part, how much money you can charge for the job and how much you have to pay some other guys you are cooperating with. So for the current job, restoring the ECU stock values, I'm charging 50 euros. If it was not needed, it will be cheaper, but in our case, because we were unsure in the uh, software, in the engine ECU, that's why restoring to the stock values is 50 euros and then deleting all the um, ecological parts, uh, DPF, particle filter, uh, zero flaps, and uh, EGR, it is uh, 200. So in total, I have charged that client for 250 euros. Of course, because I was not making the file by myself, I have to pay the guy who is making the modifications. Uh, because I'm cooperating with that guy for a long time, that's why I have uh, special prices. You will not find such good prices online, but I have paid another other guy for making the job uh, 20 euros. So you can see the profit. So uh, car number one, uh, case closed. And let's move to another ones. And the next car is in line. This is that beautiful F16. Uh, and in that one, we have to activate the TGA. This is Traffic Jam Assistant. So let's do it. So I'm inside the car. So what is the TGA Assistant? Uh, that button over here, if I'm pressing that, you can actually see it works only on the motorways. But actually, it is possible to configure that so it will be working everywhere, not only on the motorways. And the coding has been done. Let's try it. I'm pressing. And you can see the traffic jam assist is available up to 99 km per hour. So work is done. Uh, the thing to know, I have activated up to 99 km per hour. If you put the higher speed, for example, up to 120 km or 150, whatever, it, that function unfortunately will not work anymore properly. So 99 is the maximum value. And as usually, that kind of coding activation of traffic jam assistance, the price is 25 euros. That case is closed. Let's move on. And actually, I'm still in the same car. This is X6 in F16 chassis. Very typical situation. As soon as you finish the job, the client asks, hey, hey, Vladimir, what else can we do? Can we update my navigation map? Absolutely no problem. Let's do that also. So navigation map version we have, it is next, or this is the NBT. And the maps are 2018. It is 2023 already. So generating the code, I have read out everything I need. I'm just generating the code. This is the one-time code. And of course, I'll make the lifetime code for my customer and done. So no problem. This is for 2022. Also, I'll generate for 2023 maps. Uh, let's see what maps I have on my uh, drive. Code has been generated. The maps are being updated at the moment. No problem with those. If you're interested how to update the BMW maps, I also do have the full video about that. Uh, see it somewhere over there. Uh, I'm describing in the details what is FSC short, FSC long, how to work with BMW maps and so on and so on. And update of the maps with the FSC short or the older versions for the client, it, the price was 50 euros. It's still Friday, uh, another car came in, it's BMW G20. Uh, my job is to make the diagnostics on that car. Uh, the customer complains that check engine light uh, is on and now we have to know what's the problem with that. Also, in addition to that, while I'm still walking, I promised you to tell all my incomes uh, during the weekend. As you obviously know, majority of my jobs are done remotely. For example, while I was having a lunch, the Beamer Dock bot processed two orders. So you can see those checks here. And also, in addition to that, some other guys who are working in my team and some other codings performing the jobs. So whatever they will be doing during the same weekend, 
I'll also make a, a print shots, a screenshots from the same jobs. So you'll see those also. So we're inside the car. As you can see, the engine is running and the check engine light is on. I'm run running the diagnostics to tell the customer what's wrong with the car. So I've done the diagnostics. Uh, the problem was in the NOx sensor. This is the part of the AdBlue system. It's coming with the Euro 6. Actually, the error was present only one time. The first NOx sensor was, it was shown it was faulty. I conducted all the tests. I haven't found any issues. I erased the errors. Errors are not appearing anymore. We have made uh, another test drive for that car. And at the moment, it's still working fine. So my recommendation to the owner of that car would be to just continue driving because replacing the NOx sensor, the price of that is starting from 500 euros per one. That's why there is no point to replace that because of just a single malfunction. If the error will occur in the future, yes, he will have to replace that NOx sensor because the rest of the uh, AdBlue system on that car is working super fine, so no problem with that. But only on one error, no point to replace. Uh, that job, it took me uh, each uh, 30 to 40 minutes and the price of that for that diagnostics with driving and connecting the computer would be 25 euros. So this is the second day of my weekend. It is Saturday and I have already received that very Georgios G12. This is the 7 series and actually it is with 5 liter diesel engine with 4 uh, turbochargers. So it is just absolutely a beast. Uh, the thing we need to do on that beautiful uh, 7 series is chip tuning stage 1. So how that job will be done? Of course, the first thing what to do will be the diagnostics. I already have done that. I have checked that that's absolutely okay with the vehicle to tune that. Now I have took out the engine ECU, read out also the files. You will see those in a second. I have sent those to the tuner and now we are just, we'll be waiting when he will be making his badging with the um, uh, flash of that engine. And reading out the software from engine ECU is in process. As you can see, the engine ECU have to be taken out. Otherwise, do not work with the G-Series if you don't take out the ECU. Very beautiful car. And of course, working on the bench, reading it out. Otherwise, you'll just not get the proper read and you'll fail if you'll start writing it back. Also, from the moment when I yesterday finished my filmings with the G20 during the night, my uh, bot in Telegram has processed two additional orders. You can see those notifications there. So I promise uh, to tell you all my incomes during the weekend. It also counts because it's happening on the background. Basically, I'm working almost 24-7. That's why the replies might take some time. So the quickest way to contact me is absolutely via the text. Just leave a message and I'll respond to you uh, as soon as possible. And the job has been done. As you can see, the car is driving away. Stage one chip tuning has been accomplished. And now the most interesting, the price of that job. Because it is 5.0 diesel with four times turbochargers. That's why chip tuning of that will take, of course, more effort and it will cost more for the customer. The customer, for the customer, the price is 350 euros. And of course, because I'm not making the software by myself, it's just unthinkable that you will be able to do absolutely anything in the world. The world just doesn't work in that way. In order to earn some money, you have to pay someone. You have to allow someone also to earn the money and so on and so on. And the more uh, people you know with the special skills, the better it is and the better uh, your business will go. Or here you can see the price that I had to pay for the software I have just pulled in. And one more car, I'm back in the health car garage. Uh, this is the F10 and the issue we have with that car, the CZL ECU is malfunctioning. It, was, it has been replaced already in that garage, so my main job is to uh, code and adapt it to the car. How to make that properly? Actually, I have the uh, full in detail video about that. So if you don't know how to do that correctly, please see my video. And with that job, we should not have any problems. I'm connected to the car via the Acom Nena. Very, very handy thing. And at the moment I have already coded the car. I'm using the Ista Plus to make all the needed initializations. And over here we can see the CZL ECU is still yellow. So some errors might be present, 
and let's see what do we have. Uh, uh, slaves are missing, no coding data stored, it's not valid anymore, so I'll continue working. And that job has been finished, uh, that job for the client cost 75 euros. It was uh, coding the CZL ECU, making all the adaptations, deleting all the errors and making sure everything works as it should. So it's still Saturday, I thought my day is over, so it's time to put some nice 20 inch summer tires to my beauty. But actually one more client arrived over there actually, uh, you can see it's uh, E60, yes it's E61, there are some problems with the keys. I'll just make quick diagnostics to that and then continue changing my tires. So uh, the car is drying away, I have made the diagnostics for that. And the conclusion is that the car key is dead, so that's why the remote is not working. Car is starting, there are no errors present inside the car. It was just quick diagnostics, 15 euros. Again, it's day three, it's Sunday, the third day of my weekend. Uh, during the night, uh, my bot, uh, Telegram bot for carpet activation has processed also a couple of the orders. You can see those checks here. That bot works just so perfectly. By the way, Emil, I know you're watching that video. Uh, thanks for creating that bot because I was not creating that bot by myself. So one of my subscribers helped me with that. And also the Maris, the guy on the other side of the bot, who is also helping me with those carpet activations because Without the teamwork, nothing is possible. So guys, always invest, invest in, the, in your friends, cooperate with someone. In that case, you'll achieve way, way, way more than you'll be fighting that fight alone. But today, I also have some cars prepared for you. I'm driving to my garage. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and let's start working. And the first car of today has arrived. It is E65 uh, M57 3 liter diesel engine. So the owner of that uh, car it already has some kind of tuning, tuning made, he is not happy with that at all. So my job is to make the stock from that vehicle and after that uh, perform correct stage one chip tuning. Procedure will be as usual, diagnostics first, chip tuning second and diagnostics again. Nothing special, let's do it. Diagnostics has been done. I'm restoring the original software via the Win KFP because it's E-series. As you can see, everything is blinking. I'm using the original I come next and of course power supply should be connected there is no other way how you should do those operations with BMWs so always use proper power supply after restoring engine ECU software to the factory settings it's time to read it out send to the guys who I'm working with to modify that make all they needed in our case stage one chip tuning and write it back that's it and that job is successfully done. So uh, I have recovered the engine ECU, and not recovered, I restored the stock values because if you are unsure what is inside the engine ECU or whatever other ECU, you just have to make the factory stock. And then I have made stage one chip tuning. In total, overall, uh, that job for that E65 cost client 250 euros. The price for me for the uh, file, my chip tuner was calibrating was 30 euros and just for you to show how the job should be done after making whatever job always make the diagnostics and make sure everything is as is as it should be in our case you can see the issue tree it is almost green couple errors are present those are the lightning related nothing uh, connected to the chip tuning the engine ECU is green during that weekend I have done several chip tunings on different cars from E to G series. I always I was always talking about like stage one. What does stage one chip tuning mean? If you have no idea about different stages, how it should be done, what are the pros uh, and costs and downsides uh, of different stages, uh, risks involved in that job and so on. I have already a video made about that. If you haven't seen that, please have a look. You'll have way better picture about the chip tuning world, especially chip tuning of BMWs. And one more car arrived to the diagnostics. Uh, this is E91. And actually, you can see from the headlights, one of the headlights is working, another one is not working. I'm suspecting there should be some short circuit inside the uh, lighting ECU or FRM ECU. Let's diagnose the car and see what's wrong with that. 
I'm making the diagnostics with the ISTA. I have played with 232. I thought it was just a regular short circuit case, but actually, as you can see, at least half of the car lightning is not working at all. And this is not a short circuit. I have tested it with the 232. Counter shows just zero. Opening the outputs uh, gives zero result. So my conclusion is the FRM just went bad. So it has to be replaced. I have done the, with the diagnostics with the previous car, with the E91. I charged the client for 15 euros. Now the next one has arrived. It is G05 X5. And over here we need to make some regular codings, nothing special. Maybe activating the uh, M dashboard, uh, video in motion, all, all that stuff. Because on G05 actually the software is being updated automatically over the air. Uh, that's why I'm coding that car not for the first time already. Uh, the, I know the client of the car, car really well. He is my regular client. And every time after the update he comes and I'm making, he restoring basically all his codings. Unfortunately, there is no other way around if you want to update your software regularly as on that G05, it flies just over the air and you have actually two choices, even to restore every coding every and single time after the software update and have the latest software or just to not to, not to update the software. It's a choice of yours. Sitting inside the G05 and let's press the code button. and coding the dashboard. I'm making it M style and also at the moment the speed is maximum 260 km per hour and now it will be 330. And now you can see the M layout. It is, it looks like so much better. And continue all the coding. And G05 is driving away. The coding has been done. Uh, actually, I have done a lot of different codings. But because I'm working with that car, not for the first time, owner already knows what he wants and so on and so on, I charged him only 20 euros. If that was the first time and the amount of the coding I have done, start, stop and all different things, that will be 50 euros easily. It is the end of the Sunday, I thought it was it. I started to make uh, the final recordings for that video, make all the calculations. I have set up my studio at home to make all the preparations, uh, see how it looks like. So my studio light was already set up, everything was ready. And then one of the clients wrote me from Norway. Uh, he was trying to update his NBT and something went wrong, car was not starting after that and so on. So I made the urgent connection to that F16 in Norway and help my uh, one of the subscribers to recover his car. So just small help uh, to one of my subscribers, uh, 50 euros, now the car is starting. I told him what to do, what he has to do, what he did wrong, how he should proceed with updating his NBT. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens if you don't have enough experience, you're just uh, making one small thing wrong and that's enough of that. But anyway, now everything is okay, let's continue. And it's Sunday evening, it's 8 o'clock in the evening and let's uh, sum up how it went. So the weekend was a three day weekend, it was a long weekend. Uh, as you already know, working with the BMWs is not my full time job. Uh, so it's only a hobby for me. That's why I was not only working with the BMWs, I was also living my regular life uh, making the work counts uh, and so on and so on. So uh, the most interesting moment, what is the end result? How much money it is possible to make in one weekend uh, as a hobby, for example? You have seen all the calculations for every single car. Uh, how much did I earn, how much I had to pay, if I had to pay someone, and so on and so on. And now will be the totals. I'll display the totals, how much I earned, how much I have uh, spent during the weekend paying someone, and what will be the uh, final total of the income. And the totals will appear now. I guess it's absolutely not bad income only for one weekend. Of course, Earning such amount of money requires a lot of experience. And in addition to experience, you have to have connections, uh, the guys surrounding you to work with. For example, 
the Beamer Dog Bot, it gives uh, kind of good part of my income that will be just impossible without the Emil, the guy who created that bot. Also, without the Maris, uh, the guy from Latvia, who is actually processing all those orders and so on. So uh, the end state will be that it's impossible to work efficiently and professionally without a team. So guys, cooperate, subscribe, like, comment, and see you next time. Bye.